Lucas! You said together! You said together! Lady Katana of House Sheeran, you are hereby sentenced to die. You take the bodies, you throw them into the void, and you've done your job. The Sheerans treated me like a son, and their foals treated me like a brother. And I'm surprised they did after what you did to Lord Sheeran's sister, my mother. I'm pregnant, Rory. When you look at her, what do you feel? I feel nothing, my lord. Will you be my princess? It would be my pleasure to be your princess. Every raven you see, you shoot it down. You take the letter, and you tear it to shreds. Grinner has a vaunchy share, my lord. He hasn't set his bargain price, but I'm assuming... The Golden Prince. Promise me a name. You promised me I'd be more than this. You will never be more than this! When you're ready to correct your mistake, I'll be here. I saw father cry today. I think he misses you. He's training Royce. He'll be a sheer knight one day, like you would have wanted. You would be proud of him. I'm sorry I keep taking your flowers. They wilt every few days. I hope you don't mind. She would want you to have them. Flowers suit you. She wanted to be the first queen of the Northerlands. We've only ever taken the titles of princess or lady. When I grow up, I want to be the first mayor knight of the Northerlands. You will be our first queen. She would have made a better ruler. You're afraid you're small, but Avila, you're not aware of your strength. One day, you'll see what you carry. And here. And when that day comes... The Northerlands will have their queen. You go left, I'll go right. So if he catches up, he'll only get one of us. Better hope it's not you after you beat him in that joust earlier. Joke's on you. He always lets me win. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she's doing it with the filly who sleeps in the arsenal. Not a chance. Isn't she pregnant with that Gelric King's foal? Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find a better hiding place. <laughs> Just kidding. Gallows told me which way you went so he could win. Revan? A knight stuck down on my sister. The mare they've sworn their swords to since she was a filly. They condemn her for her suffering. And her love. They don't understand. But it doesn't change where their loyalties lie. Ravensdale knights see Sheerans as their blood. Avila is our lady, no matter who is hers. Is everything okay, Revan? I'm fine. I'm always here for you, Revan. You're not their family. You're a servant. And deep down, you hate them. What do you want me to do? Remember that. Yeah, well, that's your job, isn't it? I'm going to find Gallows. <laughs> that's my mother. Well, mummy's gone down. Does it look like I have time to dry your tears? You'll see her in the ground soon enough. <laughs> Keep your looks to yourself, yeah, princess? It was curious to hear that you don't have stallion bits under that cloak of yours. Word spreads quickly through the guards. Avanchi Sheeran. Hiding from that name for how long now, little filly? Sheerans. Always full of desperation. So not to conform. Word is, there's one less Sheeran bitch fighting for her own cause, yeah? Tana Sheeran's as blue as your banners. Fuck you! Ah. Words. None of them from you, little filly. Fuck off. Ah. She's worth more than your head. Be of use in disposed of bodies in place of Lady Sheeran while I have a word with her. Your uncle Tygen has the Golden Prince in his custody. We've narrowed down our terms, and Lord Evrian demands a letter forged by you, affirming your well-being to close our deal. You give him word you've been unharmed, and you will be comfortably awaiting his arrival. I don't want to go with him. There isn't room for your own wagers. Then send a raven to my father in Ravensdale. Lord Sheeran has nothing I want. I want to go home. And I want the Golden Prince. Though you're not in a position to kill me if I don't comply. I call for your head and it's mine, Lady Sheeran. In fact, imagine it already is. Your sister Katana is dead. If conditions with Tygen Evrian aren't met, you'll be shipped to the Sutherlands as trade father with the crown. Sheeran blood is gold. I can assure you, you'll fetch me a high price from Lalit Felkin. Write the letter. Who are you? You're well adapted to luck, Lady Sheeran. The once impenetrable stone walls of your house are nothing but rubble. If I were you, I'd get well acquainted with the idea that you won't be able to smart mouth your way out of every situation. I... was like you once. Until I was stripped of everything because I was naive. Several powerful houses want your head on a spike. Accept being caged and learn to obey. You're a lamb. You have no room to leverage with lions. I'll write your letter. But you're wrong. I am a lion.
Beaver Creek in 15 minutes, Stallions. I can't hold all of this shit, Blave. You! Make yourself useful and carry our sparring rods. Trot on, stallions. Catch up to your brothers now. I've got something special for you, Revan. Why? Why not? It's all fit to you. Lightweight steel, but it can withstand some of the most fearsome lashes. I... Thank you, Royce. Suit up. You'll be training with your knights at Fever Creek. Watch his hooves, Revan. They'll tell you where he's going before he's made his move. A charge like that is far too predictable gives your opponent enough time to strategize their defense as you close the distance. Take your approach slow and save your energy for close combat. Conradin, don't dodge him. Only block his blows. I'm fighting. No, you're leading a training exercise. Do what you know you've never been. It's really <laughs> Don't forget your size, Revan. Control your sword. Watch yourself! Come on, Conradin. I didn't drag my sorry ass to the Northerlands to be used as a sparring dummy for your little lord. Easy now. As your little lord, too. If he were mine, I'd be teaching him to fight like a stallion! Train him like a foal if that's your provocative Royce. Don't be surprised when he ends up a fairy like his sister. Hey, Conradin. I'd watch your back. <laughs> Knight lays his hooves on a lady of his sworn house. No shearing knight of ours would. You look your lady shearing in the eyes now. You bow to her. You beg for her forgiveness. Or I'll have your head. My lady. Or I'll have your head. I. I beg you, Lady Shearing. Forgive me for my words. No need to accept his apology, Rory. He's undeserving. Take your ship, just strangle it. Your ship that's coming in. Do what you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you get it in. Do what you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you take it in. 
one day, I'm to be High Lord of Ravensdale. Now, you may answer to my father, but you'll soon answer to this little lord. So long as you serve House Sheeran, you serve us with honour. Or not at all. Say yes, my lord, so I know you've understood, my brother. Yes. Y yes, my lord. Come in. How are you feeling? Nervous. Me too. I like these ones. Saber Sheeran. I've actually been hot at night, but thank you for the blankets. I know you wouldn't want Rory hogging all your blankets. Well, good thing you make her sleep. Supper's ready. Your lady will join us. Cat would have liked this one. She told me she loved me, and then I killed her. She was the reason my life no longer makes sense to me. I just can't remember a thing before that day. Well, your father was a very important stallion. I've heard the story. Which version? Enri, take your patrol east and follow the stretch past King's Cross. Esvir and I will take the lead to the west through the Freedom Pass. We approach them from both sides of camp and at least one of their borders will fall to us. Lord Evrian. We'll be gone a fortnight, Luca. Where are you going? You tell me every horse in the kingdom is on the hunt for my head. I'm not safe here without you. Asri will remain in Green Isles. He isn't to leave your side until we return. Is that clear, Asri? Yes, my lord. You're no safer with me, Luca. You'll be in capable hooves while I'm away. Maybe you'll pick up some tricks from our knights on how to protect yourself. Loyalty burns, Evrians. My dearest niece, I wish you the happiest of name days. Ugh. Sir Ilian Scythe. 
My name is Raya Menteth. Among your soldiers of the Shadow Brigade is my traitor brother, Harth Menteth. He has fled his homeland of the High Islands after murdering our mother. It is at the demand of House Menteth that he has returned home so he can face proper trial and sentencing for his crimes against our family. Sincerely, Raya Menteth. Watch your hooves, bastard boy. These knights? We can't even call them that. They're not ready. We're being summoned by Hunks Falcon. The Shadow Brigade is the Royal Army. Every horse here is recruited knowing full well the responsibility they carry. They were recruited to train and become the soldiers we need them to be. We've only ever been called to Black's Vale in times of war, and if we send these cults to the front lines, it'll be a waste of life. Sir Scythe. We're brothers. That is the foundation of the Shadow Brigade. You've served alongside one another long enough to call each other your blood. That's why this will be difficult for some of you. Who was the horse last to see Hoth Menteth? Our soldiers don't just go missing. We've had our fair share of AWOL recruits, but none smart enough to vanish without a trace. So let me ask this once more, and this will be the final time. Who was the last to see Hoth Menteth? Sir. I saw Hearth give coins to a sailor in Birdport, by the docks. I think, I think he wanted to board a ship. How does it feel to hold so much power? Give the word, pull the lever, and watch your enemies perish. All for the name, Falcon. As much as you like to think, Falcons aren't the only horses who hold power. There's a kind of dominance that comes with secrets. In fact, I have a few of my own that may be very detrimental to your title. What game would you like to play today, Lucas? A game we wouldn't be in the position to play if you learned how to keep promises. Words are weapons. My father is very at Windmar. I know how to use them. If you give me the name I was assured, I'll keep those words to myself. Lucas Windmar. How noble, yet so undeserving. You will never be the Three Spears of House Windmar. You'll never know our cunning, though you desperately cling to the fantasy that bastard blood equates to a true Windmar. You are a rat, Lucas Terrathan, crawling with disease that infects those stupid enough to care for you. You better get to spilling my secrets before you're eaten alive by your own plague. What is it? I need to speak with you. And I have a kingdom to run, Variet. I have little time for your barking. Do you have ears? They're about as useful as your manners. The cloak I had made for you. How do you like it? I don't like the trim. There's an important horse here who says he'd like to make an arrangement with you. And who's that? I don't think you'll take my word for it. I'm not fond of your games, Variet. If you don't- This is no game. Please be careful, Lalit.
Your Grace. It's truly an honor to be in this throne room, in your presence. Lord Neptune of House. Castiel. Your house casts quite the shadow. Stand back. You don't have the authority to give orders here. <laughs> and if you keep pushing your stallions, you'll have no more to make orders of. You're under my direction. Medics aren't yours to make demands of, my lord. We fight for the slain, not those who butchered them. Rest your stallions, or you'll be seeing plenty more of me. King Galric will want you on your hoofs in a few hours. Get your rest now. You'll want to be on the front lines to represent House Trago. How did you- Clearly, you're from Dragon's Back with those markings. I may not be Alkyrian, but I know your houses. Observant. Where are you from? Croa, past the cloudy sea. I came to Elkir when I was a filly, after I watched Elkirian stallions slaughter my family during the war of the sea. In my nation we call your stallions mongers. War-hungry little monsters. You're expected to know how to handle a sword before you can utter your first battle cry. Who can destroy the greatest castles? Who can slaughter by the thousands? It's written in your history books. Whoever spills the most blood, Where's the crown? They feel they've earned it this way. What's your name? Shara. You've been recruited from every kingdom, from the Northerlands to the Southerlands. Now here you stand, for one reason. Sons of whores. Sons of kings. You're here to become more than another branch on your family tree. House Hakor. House Elamir. House Drago. Forget your names. Release your titles. You are now an anarchist. You're the newfound history of Elkir. We stand upon the past, present, and future of our nation. Falcon rule over Elkir has only led to poverty and the destruction of the society our fathers fought to build. Noble blood doesn't determine who the world belongs to, only who believes they're entitled to it. The horses of Elkir are regarded as possessions of the crown. Flay them, burn them, strip them of their shells, and all that remains are the bones that reside in all of us. Understand one thing. You're all disposable. One of you falls. And another stallion stands in your place. 
Whether you're the heir of a kingdom or to take the place of your father as a butcher, you're here to fight and die for the future of Elkir. If any of you think you're worthy of more than death at the hooves of those who oppose us, you can turn back now. Now is the time we begin to rewrite our history. And history begins with anarchy. Seven.